All right, Shari K on Panic Kodak from New York. He came with cops to hang with the U.S. Marshals. All right, bro. The U.S. Marshals, damn. Um, what I want to talk about next, um, I was on Reddit, you know, just doing research, <laughs> and I ran into a post, and uh, somebody said, yeah. Literally, somebody posted, man, Shai K don't get enough credit for putting the Bronx on no, no. and and staying Not out of really. trouble. You know, so he signed a deal, he's putting the Bronx on, and, and he's staying out of trouble. Like, what, what's your thoughts on that? I don't. But if I'm going, going to be all the opinion, yo, he should have chilled. He should have shut the f up. Yeah. I don't want to give my props, man. See, the face of the Bronx. I woke up one day and started rapping, and I saw everybody in the Bronx is in motion. If he can't wake up and be a rapper, it'd be no rapping right now. I don't know what he be doing. Hmm. I agree with that to an extent, right? Drill, drill. Okay, okay, hold on. He's a bit like to Brooklyn. Hold on. I agree with that to an extent. I agree, yes. You are you doing like I, I said earlier. You're All doing more than a lot of singing though. Was singing and the Bronze niggas would have been singing. What else would have been? They would have been nothing. All these niggas, two niggas that started this shit was me and D thing, free D thing. We started this shit. Everybody else, if if you not was if you wasn't on his side, you would follow. If you wasn't on my side. You will follow him. Mm. The reason why I say I disagree is because, yes, you've done all those other things, but the staying low part I disagree with because, like I said, three months ago after your album came out, you know, you had Kodak on your album. Oh, the fuck. And then, like, you and Kodak got into a disagreement. Like, what, what went left? How did it go from you getting on... Him on your album. One, bro, I didn't want to do this shit, bro. I didn't want to do a song with Kodak. Niggas kept telling me, do this shit. I did this shit. They switched the beat three times. He said he didn't even know that was going to you, like the song. Yeah, he probably didn't know. I told niggas, I asked niggas, do he know or Do he know niggas getting on this song or not? Nah? They said, nah. I said, I knew it was one of these situations. So yeah. basically, niggas leaked the tape by accident. So when they leaked the the um, track list, it popped up. That's when fans start going crazy. Mm -hmm. I even share it. I know, I know after, after the y'all disagreement, you know, you got on live and said he was banned from NY. <laughs> and then he got, he responded back saying, I'm not, I'm not banned. You Do you feel like you overreacted in that situation nah, by saying he was nah, banned? Nah, I still know what I say. But I went crazy, but nah, nigga. Once you play on my name, put my name, I'm going out for my name. All I got is my name. I don't give a fuck. I'm going out. So I, when he came to, to NY, did you expect that Black Montclair again? It's used this year. Expect him to come? If you were cops, of course. I expect you to come if you were cops. He was with cops? You were cops. You see, niggas be with cops. Niggas be with the U.S. Marshal. How you yeah. know he was with cops? You see, you see. Who the fuck I was going to stop a block in New York? Who, only could, who could shut down a block where cars driving through? Cops, right? Come on, bro. Niggas be walking with cops, bro. That's it, bro. So nobody about to come do something to a cop, brother. So you you can have that. I ain't coming to push up on a cop. Do you regret uh, having him on your album at all? Like having that whole song? <laughs> Hell yeah. I should have niggas. I should have did that verse. Yeah. Did you did you take it off? You took it off your project, right? I know. I know. You, I remember. That shit was never on it. Yeah. Niggas did some dumb shit. So that shit was never on it. Damn. People felt like it was for marketing. Like, y'all did all that for marketing. I was reading online. I saw people saying, oh, they did shit for marketing. Other niggas could have did it. Yeah. But me, I ain't look at, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. Mm -hmm. It was real shit, bro. And I, if I wake up tomorrow, if I go to sleep today and wake up tomorrow and a nigga posting about me, I'm on him. Check his temperature all the way. What's up? This is Ken.